What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm finally getting in alignment for the Integra. It's kind of sad, like in the time that I've owned the Prelude, the 11, 12 years now, I've only aligned the Prelude once and that was back in I think 2012 when I first loaded my car on springs. Then I got coilovers, never aligned my car on coilovers and then I got air ride and I still haven't aligned my car yet. But that is all gonna change after I saw the damage of my tires. Toe is every ricer's worst nightmare. But I ordered tires yesterday. Thank God that the uh, Federal 595 Evos are inexpensive and they're a pretty good tire too. But I've learned my lesson. You live and you learn, so it's all good. But right now, I'm going to get the Integra ready, load everything up, head to Firestone. My appointment's at 1.30. And unfortunately, all of my friends are busy with work and other things, so I have to wait at that Firestone. Hopefully not too long. I mean, last time we went there, we, with Ben's S2K, we ended up waiting like two, three hours. So hopefully all goes well, fingers crossed. But guys, let's get today started. All right, so start off first, the MPC drop forks. They did their job, they lowered the car a little bit. And also I don't bottom out as much, only when I'm going super fast and I hit a bump. But what I did last night was, after that first adjustment, I was rubbing a lot after I gave more positive camber. So I swapped the rear wheels to the front so the tread is perfect here. And then I adjusted the camber about negative one and a half degrees so I don't rub on the fenders. And then also I lowered the car another quarter inch because after this alignment, I don't want to mess anything else up. But then when I put the new springs on the coil, the function form coilovers, then I'll go back for another alignment. Also guys, today I will be doing the adjustment, toe arm adjustment, reinstall on the Prelude 2, for those of you asking. And then I'll get the Prelude aligned sometime next week before the clean culture meet up in Phoenix, which is going to be June 29th. Super stoked about that, but guys, see you at Firestone. Alright guys, we made it to Firestone. I'm going to drop off the keys. I'm a little bit early. The good thing there, our mall is right across the street, so I'll probably just hang around, try to kill some time. Ah, let's do it, guys. What's up, guys? Update. Apparently, my car is too low for the alignment rack, and even the planks that they put out, which I find complete bullshit because they aligned Ben's S2K, and that car is literally almost on the ground unbelievable so i guess my search will continue to find a shop that'll align my car like honestly i my car is not even low the daily like for real no joke i have so much clearance and i'm on 16s oh my god whatever i guess i will go home and cry about it. We'll see you guys at home. What is up guys? Just made it back home. Such a bummer. We're gonna get my car aligned, but that's okay. I guess there's this shop that does super low cars, but it's like a 45 minute drive for me. But that's like most places for me. So I guess I'll just suck it up and schedule an appointment when I have the time again. But right now, whipping up some pasta. Something quick and easy, this Bertoli, chicken alfredo and penny. Relax with this just chill. So when it gets cooler, that's when I'll probably do the toe arms for the prelude and show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to install it, how to use it, and of course I'll adjust it. So um, since the prelude's on air ride, you adjust it to your, your um, ride height, of course, but I'm gonna eat, watch some anime. I'll link up with you guys in a bit. What is up, family? Just woke up from a nap. Let's start the uninstall and install of the toe arms, or I will just give you a really good 
explanation on how to install the tow arms for the Honda Prelude. Damn, paint is so icy or wet. I think my side skirts are done. I just haven't contacted Zeus yet. But I might be taking the Prelude out tonight just because I haven't driven her in a long time. Should be fun. All right guys, wheels are off. You can see the Megan Racing tow arms. So again guys, for all my Prelude owners out there, if you want maximum negative camber, you need to purchase the SPC Extreme Ball Kit, correct? And install it backwards. So there's like a frontward way to install it, which would be the correct way, but what most of the Prelude owners do is install this and backwards so you can achieve negative three camber from this plus your natural camber when you're lowered but if you do it incorrectly which is correctly this way then you're going to need your adjustable toe arms because this bitch throws your toe off way bad so remember and you can find this on like ebay or um summit racing pretty much any performance shop online just type in megan racing toe arm prelude and i'll leave the part number for this on the screen for you guys so here was the oem adjustment toe screw which for me to get that off it was just super just frozen on so i had to cut it out the toe arm itself and the bolt as you can see through here and i just used some hardware from home depot Got a bolt, a washer. And here's the nut for, an, for the locking adjustment. And here's the other lock. But I didn't, I installed these differently where I just threaded this all the way and kept this open, which is a no-no because the only way to adjust this correctly was to take this whole assembly out and then shorten this here. But now I'm gonna take it out and do it the right way for you guys. All right guys, so got the first toe arm out. So remember, give yourself, well, I don't have the OEM toe arm. I threw it away because of course I chopped it in half. But which, what you would want to do, use this as comparison, is just put the, OE, the aftermarket control arm next to the OEM control arm and adjust from there. So that way, like my camber kit on the Integra, you can adjust just by turning this clockwise and counterclockwise for positive or negative toe angle. All right guys, toe arm is back in. I tightened, torqued everything down. So I'll put the wheel back on, set the car on the ground, put my right on, oh my, my right height, and then I will adjust from there just by loosening up that bolt there and that bolt there and then twisting this blue bar either clockwise, counterclockwise, forwards or backwards. Now I'm gonna knock out the other side real quick. All right, got the car on the ground. So this is definitely, definitely not my right height. It's like two more inches lower than that. And this side is towing a little bit inward but of course it's not going to be perfect even after I adjust it by eye you need the machine but I'm gonna do my best right now all right guys so I did my best that is pretty even to my eye it's probably way off also did my best with this side not too bad what's funny is the wheels on the Integra are more aggressive than my work wheels. It's pretty dope. That's pretty funny. But it's so cool. Let me, get, let me know in the comments below, guys. What's your favorite? The Prelude or the Integra? Also, do you prefer bagged or a static ride? All right guys, so right now I'm going to link up with Warren at Quick Trip to hang out. And also I need to stop by O'Reilly's to visit Chris to drop off all of these chemical liquids from Benz S2K, 
like two prelude oil changes and one Integra oil change. Oh yeah, then when I did the transmission flush on the Integra too, so I gotta give Chris this Johnny. All right, we made it guys. Let's go visit Thicklin. What's up, cutie? What's up, fuckers? Oh my God, look at all this oil. <laughs> Five years worth of oil. Perks of having friends that work at automotive shops. Looking like a snack. All right, guys, thank you again, Chris. Much love. Gonna meet Warhen at QT and hit the vape for the, for the viewers. Do you drive that low? How do you drive that low, dude? Oh, guys, check this out. This is dope. Look at that underbite. Oh my god. Do you drift? Nice 240, brother. Oh my god. Is this a drift missile? <laughs> my only drift missile. What's up, guys? Just made the QT. Someone infiltrated our spot. What's up, Warren? I'm gonna kick him out. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yo. It's your favorite Warren. Yeah. Thank you for the snacks, brother. Yeah, of course. Much appreciated. Yeah. We couldn't get our spot. Those kids wouldn't budge. Wouldn't talk to them. They're, they outnumbered us. No. But <laughs> next time. Oh my God. What is up, everybody? Jason made it back home. Just want to say thank you all for making it to the end of the video. I truly appreciate it. Hope you all learned a little bit about something today, especially my Prelude viewers. Like I said, um, I'll leave the part number to that SBC Extreme adjustable ball joint item number somewhere here or back on the other clips. And for the again for the Megan Racing, it's hot. <laughs> Again, for the Megan Racing Toe Arms, you can find those on eBay, Summit Racing, there's a lot of sites. Some people have been telling me they can't find it. Probably can't find it for cheap. It's like, cheapest I found them was like 115 bucks, which it isn't too bad, but you're gonna need it if you're gonna run stupid amounts of camber. And again, probably do my alignment on Monday, hit up the boys from Gut Slappers, because that Integra needs an alignment bad. After I readjusted everything, it seemed to drive more straight, so that's good, but the toe is still there and I need that all zeroed out because I don't want to have to buy another pair of tires and have those last me X amount of days. So I think I'm gonna throw on these stockies until my alignment, just to play it safe. It's one day, but better safe than sorry. But again, guys, thank you all so much for the love and support. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, aim high, drive low. We'll see you next time. Take care.